welcome to mathematics online lecture series lecture number 15 lecture number 15 uh, topic change of order of integration in double integrals by professor kevin also today we will discuss about two two problems based on change of order of integration change of order of integration the first problem Today's first problem, evaluate the integral by change of order of integration. Integral 0 to a, integral x by a to root over x by a, x square plus y square, dy dx. If you observe this uh, integral, this is in terms of x, x variable, so this is y limit. y is x by a to root over x by a, now other variable is x, So which is shown here which is shown in, the, in this here. x is 0 to a, y equals to x by a to root over x by a, x square plus y square d by dx. Now we will change, now we will evaluate the integral by using method of, part, method of change of order of integration. What is the method? First to identify the region. First to identify the region. Region of integration. Second, change the order of integration change the order of integration then third step evaluate the integral evaluation of the integral so for this purpose first we will identify the region of integration okay the region of integration is lower limit is x y equals to x by a y equals to root over root over x by a and x limit 0 to a x limit 0 to a so is if you're squaring on both sides this term y square equals to x by a. The region of integration is given by y, is, y equals to x by a and y square equals to x by a and x equals to 0 on a. Now what about the region? Now first y equals to x by a is look like a, a straight line passing through origin y equals to mx. This is x-axis. This is y-axis. This is a first equation y equals to x by a. Fine. Now second one is y square equals to x by a is also a parabola. This is a parabola. y square equals to 4a look like 4a x formula. Now our limits y, y from x by a to nothing but straight line to parabola. This one. And uh, five, here x equals to 0 y is also 0. If you substitute x equals to 0, y is also 0. x equals to a, y becomes 1. So this point of intersection is a comma 1. So which is shown in the diagram. First we will uh, find the points of intersection uh, a, 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 0, 0 and a1. It's very simple technique. Now this is the first equation, uh, the straight line equation and parabola here y subdued y here in this uh, in place of y, replace x by a, nothing but x by a whole square equals to x by a. So x by a whole square is nothing but x square a square minus uh, x by a equals to 0, x by a is the common term, x by a minus 1 equals to 0. If you equating with 0, x equals to 0 first value and if you equating with uh, 0, x by a x by a equals to 1, uh, x equals to a. Now, if you put x equals to 0 in this equation or in this equation, y becomes 0. x equals to a, y becomes 1. So, the points of intersections are 0, 0 and a comma 1. So, now first we will identify the region. So, uh, y limits from straight line y equals to x by 2 the parabola y square equals to x by a and x limit is 0 to this point is a comma 0 this is the red color region is our region so using this region you first we are identified the region now change of order of integration then what about the limits very simple very simple so in previously here y then s x now change the order of integration here x and y now what about the x limits what about the x limits along its axis now observe this one lower curve is from this one from this one x equals to 
a into pi square. Now up to this line, along this one, up to this line, this line is nothing but x equals to a y. Fine. So x limits a, a y square to a y. Here a y square to a y. So bottom. Now y limits. Here y limit is 0. Here y limit is 1. So y equals to 0 to 1. If you observe the region, then it is very easily we can identify the limits. So for finding the x limits observed along x axis, then y span, y is 0 to 1. So y equals to 0 to 1 is the limits. Now change the order of, now we will evaluate by using change of order of integration. By change of order of integration, by change of order of integration. Now this is the given problem. Interchange the li limits. Here first x limits, then y limit. x limits already we discussed. a y square to a, a y and y limit 0 to 1. y is 0 to 1. First separate the x terms, then y terms. Here first yeah, we will integrate with respect to x, then integrate with respect to y. Now here x square integration is executed by 3. Here y square is treated as constant. If you integrate with respect to x, y is treated as constant. So y square is constant. So integral constant is nothing but x, x into y square. So lower limit to x is x equals to a y square, upper limit is a y. First put x equals to a y. Uh, put x equals to x equals to a y. Here also a y y square. Now subtraction, subtraction. Okay. Now second limit uh, x equals to a y a y square whole cube a y square into y square. Now simplification. Here a cube y cube by 3. Here a y cube. Here a cube and y power 6 by 3. Then a into y square y square is a power 4. Integral 0 to 1 this term. Now integration is with respect to y. y cube integration is y power 4 by 4. Here y cube integration is y power 4 by 4. y power 6 integration is y power 7 by 7. Remaining terms are same y power 5 integration is y power 5 by 5. Now substitute the limit 0 to 1. First put y equals to 1, that is a cube by 12, first term. Here a equals to 1, a by 4, second term, minus a cube by 21 is the next term. If you put y equals to 1, a by 5, minus a by 5. If you put y equals to 0, if this term is 0, this term is 0, this term is 0, this term is 0, no need to write. Now, if you observe, this term is a cube term, this is a cube term, if you come a cube term, 1 by 12 minus 1 by 21. Here, this is a term, this is a term, common a, 1 by 4 minus 1 by 5. Now, if you simplify, you find the LCM and etc., you will get a cube, a cube by 28, here a by 20. Now, in the similar way, we will evaluate another integral using change of order of integration. Very simple technique. This is a value in the next problem, problem number four. Evaluate the following integral by change of order of integration. X is, sorry, zero to three integral one to root over uh, four minus X, X plus Y dy dx. Now this is limits in terms of uh, Y. So this is X. Now this is Y. In the previous problem, this y, this is x. Now, another different problem, x is x to some limits, y limits. Now, you change the order of integration. Now, first integrate with respect to y, then integrate with respect to x. Okay, then for this purpose, for this purpose, so y is 0 to 3, x equals to root over this one. Now, first we will find the region of integration. Region of integration is, region of integration, so x equals to 1, no, x equals to root over 4, my, 4 minus y, and y equals to 0 to, sorry, this is y. This is y. This is y. Okay. y is 0 to 3. 
Now, if you're squaring on both sides, you will get x square equals to 4 minus y. This is y, y equals to 0 to 3. Okay. Now, find the points of intersection. Suppose if you solve these two equations, what happens if you put x equals to 1? What happens x equals to 1? 1 equals to 4 minus y. y becomes 3. The point of intersection is 1 comma 3. Now, if you observe, this is the parabolic para equation of the parabola. So, what is the shape of the parabola? So, first parabola is this one. Observe this one. Parabola is this one. X square equals to 4a. This is symmetrical about the y axis. And another one is x equals to 1 is a straight line. X equals to 1 is a straight line parallel to y axis. Now, what about the our limits x, along x? Observe along x axis, x limit 1 to this parabola x is 1, 1 is nothing but this line to along, observe this uh, along, uh, along x axis. First straight line, then parabola. Then point of intersection is already known, 1 comma 3, this is uh, 1, 0. The another point of intersection is uh, 2 comma 0, very simple. Parabola, in this parabola, if you put x equals to, in, the, in this parabola y equals to 0, you will get x square equals to 4. Now it, you will get to 2 comma 0. Okay. Now in this, if you observe x equals to 1 to parabola. Now if you observe the integral, x is 1 to parabola. x is 1 to parabola means observe along x axis only because x limits are given. So along x axis, x equals to 1 to parabola and y limits are also given y equals to 0 to 3. Here y is given, y limit is 0. Here 3. So this is the red color shaded region is the region. Now change of order of integration. Now first integrate with respect to y, then integrate with respect to x. Now observe along y axis. So here lower limit in this region, lower limit is lower curve is the lower curve is 0, 0 to this one. This curve is nothing but from this one, y equals to 4 minus x square. So y limits lower curve to upper curve, then x limit. Here x equals to x equals to 1, here x equals to 2. So limit is 1 to 2. X limit 1 to 2. Now what about the y limits? 0 to 4 minus x square here. Y x limits 1 to 2. Here 1 x is x coordinate is 1 here. Up to this one, x equals to 2. Now now, by change of order of integration, by change of order of integration, now interchange the two limits. Y is 0 to already discussed, 4 minus x square, x is 1 to 2. Now, first integrate with respect to y, then integrate with respect to x for this purpose, separate y terms. Now, here y, there is no y term, so x into y, here y integration is y square by 2, limits y is 0 to 4 minus x square. Now, integral x is 1 to 2. Here, substitute the limits in place of y, 4 minus x square. Here, 4 minus x square, whole square. If you put y equals to 0, this term is 0, this term is 0. Now, okay, integral 1 to 2. Now, if you simplify, 4 into x, x into x square, x cube. So, if you expand using a minus b whole square formula, 16 plus x power 4 minus 8 x square by 2. Now simple integration is, now simple integration, 4x integration is 4x square by 2, x cube integration is x power 4 by 4, 16 by 2 is 8 into x, x power 4 integration is x power 5 by 5, already 2 is here, 10. Now, 8, 8 by 2, 8 by 2 is, uh, okay, 8 by 2, minus 8 by 2, x square integration is x cube by 3, 2, 3 is our 6. Okay. Now, substitute put x equals to 2. So, 4 into 2 square by 2 minus 2 power 4 by 4 plus 8 by 2. Now, if you put x equals to 2 power 5 by 10 minus 8 into 2 cube by 6 minus lower limit 4 by 2, 4 by 2. Four by two uh, minus one by four 
uh, if you put uh, x equals to 1, so then 8, then 1 by 8, so 10, 8 by 6. Now, if you simplify, very simple. Uh, here, 2, 2 cancel, you will get 8. 2, 2 power 4 by 4 is 4. 6, 8 2 is 16. Uh, 2 power 5 is nothing but 32 by 10. Now, 8 into 2 cube is 32 by 6. 2, 2 cancel. Here, uh, 2 minus 1 by 4 plus 8 plus 1 by 10 minus 4 by 3. Now, uh, simplification is uh, this term. Uh, uh, 4 plus uh, 16 is 20, 32 by 10 minus 32 by 3. Uh, here, uh, 10 into minus 1, minus 1 minus plus 1 by 4, minus 1. Here, yeah, so a small mistake. This is minus 1. 10 minus 1 minus is plus. So finally, if you simplify, if you simplify, you will get 41 by 16 is the power answer. So this is very simple procedure. We will discuss a similar problem in the next class also. So if you have any doubts, ask me through my email ID and also uh, through my WhatsApp number. Thank you. Thank you very much.